Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today we're going to look into the Samsung blockchain SSD. I'm going to see a little bit of what it's about and whether or not we should be worried as GPU miners. A little bit about myself. I've been in the cryptocurrency space now nearly two years. Do a lot of speculative coin mining, compare various miners and GPUs. I have a series called Miner Cup where I test various profit switching miners head to head, do a little bit on trading crypto, and I also do something called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, so I'm always looking in the cryptocurrency space, especially at the mining aspect of it, to see what is the latest and greatest things that are coming down the pike or not so much latest and greatest. And I found this article about a Samsung blockchain SSD. I've never heard of it. So let's head over to Cryptopolitan right here. Samsung blockchain solid state drives coming soon. Company files a patent. So it's a short article. I'll read it real quick. South Korea consumer electronics giant Samsung has shown its intent to manufacture blockchain enabled solid state drives or SSDs and filed a patent regarding the same. As per local industry news source, a patent has been applied by the company about programmable blockchain solid state drive and switch January 15th of this year and the same has been subsequently published on the 2nd of February. Currently there are very few details are available about this newly designed system. It is reported that it will primarily be utilized to increase the lifetime and speed of the blockchain powered storage devices. As per the patent application, the company plans to achieve this goal through field programmable gate arrays or FPGAs. Technically, FPGAs serve as a bridge between application-specific integrated circuits, or ASICs, and general purpose processing devices, or GPUs. They ultimately aim to boost the transfer speeds along with maintaining high security credentials. The Samsung SSD drives solidify its crypto credentials. Samsung is serious about the crypto realm, and the latest patent application goes on to reflect its commitment. Being one of the largest manufacturers of consumer electronics globally, entering blockchain was only a matter of time. Recently, it has enabled more of the mobile devices with blockchain-based features. Just last month, Samsung Blockchain Wallet has integrated with Pundi X, besides 30 other cryptos as well. Samsung SSDs are already well-received in the consumer market. Alibaba, Chinese digital retail behemoth, has applied for a patent in the United States titled Domain Name Management Scheme for Cross-Chain Interactions in Blockchain Systems. So Samsung blockchain solid state drives are only going to make competition much fiercer in the electronics realm and all the giants are acknowledging the importance of blockchain. In this specific case, Samsung can also employ the SSDs for algorithm calculations that promise highly efficient general purpose computing devices. These can, however, be reprogrammed for calculating various algorithms, something that ASICs cannot achieve. These features certainly allow them to be highly flexible and viable alternative when it comes to cryptocurrency mining. So on the surface, that seems a, a little daunting to GPU miners that a big company like Samsung now is going to be coming out with basically an FPGA type computer, all in one type computer. I have the patent. Uh, pulled up. I'll show you that in a second. But real quick, have you guys heard of this new Samsung blockchain SSD anywhere? Uh, articles came out as I'm making this video two days ago, so it's pretty fresh. If you guys have heard of it or you know anything more about it, about these Samsung blockchain SSDs, just type yes or no below whether you've heard it or not and, you know, alliterate a little more what you may know about these actual devices. All right, so let's head over to the actual patent. Here we are on uh, FPO. 
Uh, a programmable data storage device includes a non-volatile memory, a storage controller configured to control the non-viable memory, a network interface and field programmable gate array or an FPGA configured to implement a blockchain algorithm and store at least one block of the blockchain corresponding to the blockchain algorithm in the non-volatile memory via the storage controller and a processor having memory coupled there to the memory having instructions stored therein that when executed by the processor cause the processor to send and receive one or more blocks of the blockchain via the network interface and control the field programmable gate array to execute the blockchain algorithm on one or more blocks of the blockchain. Who writes this stuff? I mean, say it in plain English. Anyways, publication date 829 of 2019, filed 516 of 2018, so it was filed over a year ago, this patent. Um, Samsung Electronics Company is the assignees. So this is a legit patent filed by the Samsung Company. All right, so here is the actual patent, United States Patent Application Publication. And I just wanted to scroll down a little bit. There's no actual pictures of this thing yet that I could find, but this is a basic schematic network interface device, basically where it connects out to the real world. The FPGA crypto right here, of course, your processor, MCU, RAM, and FTL, which is going to be basically your, I'm guessing, going to be your hard drive on there. So it looks like this is going to be an all-in-one type of unit where you can have an FPGA. You can reprogram it to mine various different cryptocurrencies. And also it's going to have a hard drive on there. So I'm wondering if it's going to be like almost kind of like a master node in, in a certain way as well. So you can mine on this thing and use it as a, a node for the network and possibly get paid as a you know, a masternode type of situation. Let me know your thoughts below. I mean, that's on the surface. That's what I think it might be. Um, but not quite too sure about that. Let me scroll down a little bit more. And where are we at? Little summary paragraph. Aspects of the embodiments of the present invention relate to programmable relate to programmable network storage device configured to implement features for storing blocks of blockchains and for participating in a mining node in a blockchain network. A blockchain aware storage device. Aspects of the embodiments of the present invention are also directed to programmable network arrays or hardware configured to manage blockchain aware storage devices. So, on the surface, it doesn't really look too good for GPU miners. Now that a huge company like Samsung is getting into the crypto space and they're going to be offering, basically going to be offering FPGA all in one, almost like a, like a mini like desktop type computer situation where it's got the graphics card, the RAM, the processor, hard drive, all in one, a complete unit. Uh, would not have any idea of how much that kind of a thing would cost. I'm sure it would be a couple thousand dollars. I know FPGAs alone are very expensive. And I would imagine this is probably going to be, I don't know, two, three, four thousand, maybe, maybe more dollars for something like this. Just a wild out in left field guess. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts down below of what you think the price might actually be on something like this. But it is real. It is legit. They have filed a patent. So it looks like you will be seeing these coming to market here. I would, I would imagine at least in the next six months to a year. Maybe even sooner on something like this. Let me know your all thoughts, guys. Um, just an article I found. I thought you guys might be interested in this type of thing. I know I was. Definitely on the surface, uh, a little nerve-wracking if you're a GPU miner and a the company has something like this coming out. All right, so that's it for this. If you guys should happen to have missed my video yesterday on Eternity and how to mine it, be sure to go ahead and watch that. Details on how to enter Bitcoin Fridays are in that video. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, 
Be sure to put them down below. All the links and everything I've talked about in this video will be down below in the description. If you think somebody would be interested in this video, make sure you share that with them. I'd appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.